Hey there guys, it's Aero Dragon and welcome back. And today I'll be showing you guys my Lightsorn deck profile here. Um, it is the Twilight version uh, that I run the Performance engine with. Um, I do not have Damage Juggler because it is currently banned. Uh, so yeah, let's get down to the deck profile. I'll explain everything, why I run it, and uh, some other cards that you can side in or side out and all that stuff. So I'm just going to put my beautiful uh, token here. I think that's Kamui the Hope. Um, I really like making my own custom tokens. I actually have a play set of these, um, and I just play them for fun when I um, summon tokens out. But yeah, enough of that. Let's go into the deck profile here. So, um, Lysorn deck, basically three copies of Judgment Dragon. Um, pretty standard. Uh, like, who wouldn't run three copies? And then one Black Luster Soldier Envoy at the beginning. Uh, another big boss of the deck. I run three, uh, Raiden, Hand of the Lightsorn. Sometimes people like to run at two uh, because they run trap cards. Uh, that's probably one of the reasons why. But for me, uh, this whole entire deck does not run any trap cards. It's all monsters and all spells. So I run three Raidens to help me mill faster. And it also allows me access to more tuners. So, uh, three Luminous, standard again. Uh, just one of the best cards in the deck to help you bring back your monsters. Uh, I run two Minervas, and people might call me crazy, but yeah, I run two Minervas for the same purpose of milling on my deck faster. Um, plus, you can just search your Judgment Dragon if you do happen to summon her. And then one copy of Felis, Lysorn Archer, uh, one copy of Wolf, one Air Hen, and one Lila. So, another reason why I run only one Lila is because her main reason is to pop back row. Um, however, in my deck, I noticed that I have a lot of cards that will be popping back row. And since we have the new pendulum mechanic and everything, um, it's just going to be crazy filled with pendulum cards in the pendulum zone. So there's treated as spell cards, and you know you just want to destroy them. So your opponent does not have a scale. So I only have one Lila, but I do have other cards uh, for the purpose of destroying back row. Up next for the clown engine, uh, I run two trick clowns. Um, I thought running at 3 would be a little bit too much and was not necessary. And then 2 hat trickers, I might bump it up to 3 um, just because I can special summon this card and then go into rank 4 plays or go into my synchro plays. Next up, uh, 1 honest. Uh, this card can catch your opponent off guard really easily. Uh, they won't expect it, but you know, honest um, could sometimes potentially win you games. And then electromagnetic turtle. Uh, it can stop like an OTK. Uh, it's a really useful card. It's way better than Necrogarna in a sense because it negates uh, the attack and ends the battle phase. However, the um, double edge or uh, the backfire is that you can only use it once per duel. Uh, next up, Gorse, the Emissary of Darkness. Uh, reason why I have this token here. Um, same reason for Electromagnetic Turtle. It stops OTKs and everything. Uh, one Chaos Sorcerer. Um, then standard three Necrogarners. I was thinking about running two, but um, I might still keep it at three because it's still pretty good. Um, the reason why I might run it at two inside out one um, is because I have the Electric uh, Magnetic Turtle, which is another Necrogarner, uh, but way better. And then two Shadow Dragons. Uh, basically... Um, your Compose, and also your um, Mystical Space Typhoon uh, for the deck. Now for spells, two Monster Reincarnations, uh, one Twin Twister. The uh, reason why I run this card is because um, of if you draw into Wolf or you draw into Felis and you don't have Solar Recharge, you can dump those cards into the graveyard or basically any other cards that you might need in the graveyard. Like if you need some Chaos Sorcerer or you need to summon... Um, BLS and you don't have a dark monster in your graveyard, you can play this card and just discard a dark monster if you have it in your hand. So it's a really good card. It's a plus for this deck, definitely. And then for the other cards, uh, I run three Mystical Space Typhoons, as usual. And then two Charger Light Brigade. And then three Solar Recharge. So pretty standard for the Lightstorm deck for the spells. And then moving on to the extra deck here. Uh, for the XYZs, I run one Bujente Tsukuyomi. Allows you to draw two cards. 
uh, Diamond Dire Wolf. Pop some cards. Uh, number 50, Black Ship of Corn. Uh, deal that burn damage. Uh, Castell, bounce back a card. Uh, Cowboy for game, 800 damage. Uh, Silent Honor Arc, best card um, like that was ever made, actually. Uh, steal one of your opponent's special summon monsters. And then for the synchro portion of the extra deck, uh, I run two Michaels, one Black Rose, uh, the manga version, so Black Rose Moonlight Dragon, one Crimson Blader. Uh, I used to play this card a lot um, to lock down my opponent. And then Stardust Dragon, Stardust Spark, uh, Bills, the Diabolic Dragons, really have a good card. Um, one of the most broken cards that ever came out into Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, this card was... I think sometimes it was like close to forty dollars at most, and then it dropped down back to eighteen dollars or so, fifteen dollars. But yeah, this card is still pretty good. Um, sometimes uh, my opponent can't run over it, and they have to like bounce it back or they have to banish it. But it's a really good card. And then for the last uh, synchro is Leo the Keeper of the Sacred Tree, and some other cards you can add in the extra deck um, that I might not have here is uh, Digusto Emerald. Um, you can bring back three cards uh, basically recycling and draw a card or you can add in Trishula the dragon at the ice barrier miss warm uh, you can switch some cards out in the main deck and then you can go into your synchro monsters which are level fives you can go into uh, Armides so you can go into um, ally justice cataster all that stuff so yeah um, you can even add in a mechanic where um, you have um, let's see in here you have uh, Perform Age Hat Tricker, which is an Earth type. Um, I believe if you run Glow Up, Bor uh, Glow Up Bulb in this deck, you can go into an Atria Beast, uh, which is a really nasty combo. It just locks down your opponent. Um, and it helps you mill too. So, Natria Beast would be a really good card to use in this deck, but I just don't run it because um, I don't have it and I don't really like um, that way of playing because my way of playing is just mellow as many cards as I can, uh, draw, destroy back row attack for game so that's what I do um, it's a really fun deck and yeah hopefully you guys enjoy the deck profile if you guys would like any changes uh, to this deck um, I would like to hear it too um, I was thinking about probably citing in maxis and effect failures if I do bring this to like uh, local tournaments or even the bigger tournaments um, don't know yet but yeah that's my deck profile for the Lysor and Twilight uh, with the perform age engine in there but yeah um, hopefully you guys enjoy the video again Thank you for watching. This is Aero Dragon, and I am signing out.